Hi guys, welcome back to the last part of introduction to FXGL. And in this part, we're going to add some input so that the game is not a simulation, but actually a response to user input somehow. And then we're going to add a Maven plugin that allows us to easily deploy our games, um, essentially package them into an executable format and send them to wherever you want whether it's your users or fellow developers. So let's go to app and override init input in which we're going to add on key down. So this uses uh, one of the static methods that we um, statically imported last time. Let's use key code um, F and then on this key code we're going to print something to the terminal saying hi. And this should be sufficient for you to start building your input. If I press F, then in the terminal you can see hi. And that is um, as simple as that to add input to your games. We could do something a bit more interesting, so we can go to notification service and then say push notification hello world. So when I press F this time, we should see an in-game notification to the user. Something like this. And each time I press F, it will say hello world. Okay, let's complete the deployment cycle now. So we're going to go to our Palm XML <coughs> and we're going to add another plugin. The plugin is called Maven Plugin for JavaFX, which just simplifies the whole process. So we're going to add a plugin, the full version of the plugin with all the configuration in there. Just like that. And you probably want to update some of these things. So for example, the launcher, we want to be called uh, start game. JLink image name could be something like my game. The zip name could be my game as well. And then we need to say where your main class is. Um, our main class is over here. Simple game app. Reload the project. And that should download the dependency. And good to go. So from the command line, what we can do is type maven JavaFX run which will allow you to send this source code to other developers and they're able to just easily run your game from the command line. Now, if you want to send your program to users, then you probably want something like maven javafx colon jlink, which will produce a platform specific image, or they should do, Oh yeah, we need a module info file because it needs to have a modular project. So since we're using Java 11 and higher, we can produce module info.java, which tells the JLink um, this plugin what modules we depend on. Let's call our module uh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. We need to open it so that we can read the textures or FXGL can read the textures. And then all you need to do is require the top level FXGL all module. And that will automatically um, get all other modules as dependencies. 
um, to your project. Let's clean everything up with Maven clean, and then we can do Maven JFX colon jlink. This should now produce a zip, which we can then simply run. This looks good. Let's go to target. We can see my game.zip over here. We can unzip it. And then you can find the bin directory, which is where the binaries are. You go to bin, you're able to then find start, ga um, start game.bat, which is what um, you can run on Windows platforms. If you're targeting different platforms, you will need to run JavaFX JLink on those platforms. Let's do start game. And this will run our game. Um, and essentially, this is what you will be providing to your clients because this platform image is standalone. It doesn't have any dependencies or rather it has all the dependencies bundled with it, which means your clients don't need to install anything. And this doesn't relate to FXGL specifically. This, is, this can be any JavaFX application. So it's very generalizable. OK, on that note, uh, I'd like to complete this short practical introduction to FXGL. In this specific part, we looked at adding input, and we also added um, a way to deploy your game to either developers or clients. And in the future, I might be producing some short standalone tutorials that focus on a very specific aspect of FXGL um, to avoid making tutorials longer and simplify sort of, sort of the uh, learning process. On that note, thanks for watching.